Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz and Oscar. What a surprise, he is right on my lap. So thank you for tuning in yet again. Let me put the dog away. <laughs> and I'm so happy to let you guys know that today we are reading Who Ate All the Cookie Dough? by Karen Beaumont with pictures by Eugene Yelchin. This book was requested by Imogen. So Imogen, I'm so happy to be reading the book that you picked. Let's see what's gonna happen in this mystery story. Who Ate All the Cookie Dough? by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by Eugene Yelchin. Looks like we have the ingredients we need for making cookies. There's flour and sugar and butter, maybe some eggs, maybe some chocolate chips. My favorite. Here's Kangaroo, she's making some cookies. <gasps> but, oh no, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, who ate all the cookie dough? There was some in the bowl and now <gasps> it's gone. Who do you think it might be? Kanga looks around to see, and she sees Lion. So she asks, Lion, Lion, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? Lion says, I don't know, it wasn't me. Maybe it was Zebra, let's go see. So Kangaroo and Lion go to find Zebra, and they say, Zebra, Zebra, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? And Zebra said, I don't know, it wasn't me. Maybe it was Llama, let's go see. So Kangaroo and Lion and Zebra go to find Llama. Look at all that curly fur. And they ask, Llama, Llama, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? And Llama says, I don't know, it wasn't me. Maybe it was Cheetah, let's go see. So Kangaroo and Lion and Zebra and Llama go to find Cheetah. Cheetahs are really quick. Maybe Cheetah snuck in and out with the cookie dough really fast and nobody saw. Hmm. They ask, Cheetah, Cheetah, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? Cheetah says, I don't know. It wasn't me. Maybe it was Hippo. Let's go see. You know, hippos need to eat a lot. Maybe Hippo ate the cookie dough. So everybody went to find Hippo and they said, Hippo, Hippo, do you know? Who ate all the cookie dough? And Hippo said, I don't know, it wasn't me. Maybe it was Monkey. Let's go see. Monkeys can be sneaky. Maybe Monkey did take the cookie dough. So they all went to find Monkey. They say, Monkey, Monkey, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? But where is Monkey? Where did he go? Did he eat all the cookie dough? Do you guys see where Monkey might be in this picture? What's this up here? Could this be Monkey's tail? Let's see. Oh, there he is! So, yes, no, maybe so. Did Monkey eat all the cookie dough? <gasps> monkey says, Monkey see, Monkey did, tee -hee -hee. it wasn't me. Then who? All the animals are investigating and they find, <gasps> If you look close, you can see some little crumbs on the ground. It might be from the cookie dough. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. who ate all the cookie dough? Doesn't anybody know? And if you look closely, you can see those crumbs are leading straight to Mama Kangaroo. Did she eat all the cookie dough? The animals say, we know, we know, we know who. Let's see if you can guess it too. There might be a secret somebody hiding that ate all the cookie dough. <gasps> it was baby kangaroo. Look at that hiding in mama's pouch under the apron. Baby kangaroo snuck all the cookie dough. And baby kangaroo says, boo! <laughs> so we solved the mystery and that is the end. Thank you so much for tuning in again. That's it for today, but we'll be back with one more book this week. Tomorrow, we're gonna read Love Monster. So don't miss it. Tomorrow is our last for the week, but remember we post story times 
every weekday afternoon. So we hope to see you soon for more great books. Thanks for watching. And uh, oh, Oscar says goodbye and thank you for letting him nap during story time. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> Thanks everybody.